trash. They had like 1,200 viewers. Hi, uh, YouTube. It's Viet. Coming at you with a tutorial on how to make your, your own... Alright, YouTube, I love talk! <laughs> your own online server for a keep world. So, me and Jake, the person you just heard, um, we tried the Hamachi way, and it didn't work. And so we found a video of uh, Reddit forums, how to make an online server. And with that video, it said to use your IPv4 IP address, but that didn't work for us, so we just use our regular IP like you use for Minecraft and whatnot. So what we want to do is first have Cube World installed, obviously. Go program A6, Cube World, and you want to run the server, the server application. Just double, uh, double click that. It should open the server command. It should open a command prompt, which is the server, wherever. That's it. And after that, you want to make sure your ports are open. Um, if you don't know how to open up ports, just look up a guy how access, uh, how to open up ports on your router. Pretty much is is just you log into your router, and the ports are TCP and UDP for both. And the ports numbers are start is one two three four five, end is one two three four five. Um, and make sure that's open. After you do that, your router will like restart or whatever. Blah blah blah. Okay. And for all everyone that's trying to connect to your server has to have the ports open for it to work, I believe. So make sure all your friends' ports are open, stuff like that. And after that, you just want to launch up Cube World. Oh, that's not Cube World. Okay. And whoever's going to host the server. It has to have the start. It has to have the server up on their computer. It doesn't take that much processor, and doesn't really take that. I don't think it takes that much. But have at least a decent computer. Don't have a fucking toaster. Um, and you want to start game, and select and hit connect to server. All right, for the server IP, just go on like IP chicken. Uh, IP chicken, whatever. It give you. It give you an IP address, just like you would do for Minecraft. The IP edge is what you would give people to log in with. And, um, yeah, I'm a. Whatever, hold on, I gotta type it out. Where, let's see. I can just type in local host because I'm the host. So if you're the host, you just, um, you type in local host. That's, that's only for the host of the server. And everyone else, you'll give the IP address to. You'll give everyone that IP address you got from the website and they'll connect to it. But I'll type in my own IP address. Actually, Jake. Uh, can you log in my server? I don't want to give out my IP address. <laughs> so I type in local host because I'm their host of the server. So it's fine. Wait, you're not in it yet? Oh I'm my god. Lo I'm loading right now. Are you in it? GG. Okay, okay, I'm in it. I'm in the water. Am I in the water? No. I just run the rest too. So now I'm waiting for Jake to log in. Is that still the same in yeah, Rico? Yeah, it's the same IP. I did this in the hundred. Okay. So let's wait for Jake to log in real quick. And there he is. He's logged in. So it's pretty much easy. It's pretty. It's really easy to do. The Hamachi way, we couldn't manage to get it worked out. All. We wasted like two hours doing it, and we just did this, and it was, bam, instant. Pretty simple. So a little recap we gotta do, make sure your ports are open, ports number are one, two, three, four, five. I'll, I'll type everything out in the description actually, but, and go IP chicken, whoever's hosting the server, go IP chicken, give everyone that IP address, and that's pretty much it, you guys just play, <laughs> if, you have, if you guys have any questions, just message me or comment me, leave a comment on the video below. Uh, thank you very much.